Hey, everybody, this is Terrible Jim Witherspoon, former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. And we are going to talk today on our show about the liver shots. There's other organs that you can you can um, hit to uh, subdue your opponent or get them in trouble, but the liver shot is one of the main ones. You hit somebody in the liver and, <laughs> and you do it right, the fight is over. So um, let's take it on, Brian, and see what it's all, all right. about. Thank you for coming, everybody. And by the way, you can uh, get – Boxing skill advice from Tim. Just look in our YouTube membership or uh, over on our Patreon. And if you want to support the channel, just join it. It's two ninety nine. Join Terrible Tim's army and become a raider of boxing. All right. So here we are. We're going to go over to the anatomy part before we do the triple G executing about as perfect of a setup for the liver shot. Go ahead, champ. Right. So, um, that you know, usually, uh, you know, when I when I first started boxing, they didn't tell you know they don't tell you about what organs to do, organs to hit or go for. They do tell you something about hitting them around your 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 head. But we talking about the liver shot, um, and um, good body shot, good body punch punching boxers uh, take you out if they hit you. And I know they be practicing um, to hit that liver or the solar plex, but mainly that liver. That liver is just hanging right there. Right, juicy and delicious and sweet underneath there, ready to get to get hit. You know, what so, you gotta do is add a little onions, right? Champ? Little onions on onions. it, yeah. <laughs> little, little 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 seasoning on it, and um, you'll see in a lot of fights how effective that liver punch is. And usually you do, usually you throw a couple of punches before that to 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 occupy, you know. So, so the so your opponent to be thinking in one direction and sneak that liver shot right up that middle. And then I've we're going to see a lot of guys G. through them. Triple G is going to hit him right here, champ. Huh? Also, champ, talk a little bit uh, okay, before we cool. go on about okay. the solar plex. Remember, you were saying how effective. Oh yeah. Um, and why? Look, what's right right where the solar plex is right here. Yeah, I was told that the solar plex cannot get built up like a muscle, and I was told that the liver is right behind that. You might could get two and one if you hit them right. But yeah, the solar plex, I was told to go for that because you can knock the wind out of your opponent. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Knock the wind out of your opponent and it'll take them, it'll take them a little bit to, to recover because that's a soft area. Um, and the liver will suffer too from, from that solar plex shot by you hitting it there. So, but you can hit, I've seen boxers hit the solar plex and go to the liver. So it would be nice if you learned the anatomy of a person's body or, or your, you know, a human being's body, and, and you would know exactly where to try to land those punches on the body. It will benefit right. you. And as Can you see with you? Triple G, Triple G uh, did two shots to occupy them and then threw it. Now, if you see that shot there, throw it. But you want to have your opponent – um, thinking about something else because that liver shot is a shot that can end the fight if you get it in there right. And look what Triple G just did. Shot there. A shot there. That's not the liver. Now there's the liver. He occupied your brains. He took your brains away from you for a couple of seconds, and then he gave you the liver shot. Champ, talk a little bit about how you, you said before how you would like to. You would work on one thing with him here. Um, the way that he's gonna throw that. Um, oh that right, hook. right. Yep. So in, so in this in this video, he would be more devastating if that left arm was closer to him and 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 more the right here. hand was directly over tight on his body. So and what did you right say there, about the right head? Hand, this glove was right I mean, where that right here was, and the elbow against his body. Put the yep. elbow. Get the elbow over there. His right elbow was tighter against his body. This would have been like a bullet in the chamber coming out with all that power. But he was. And what about the up. knees, champ? Huh? You, what about oh, the he knees? He had to bend his knees. So, yep. yeah, he got the job done. But if that left hand, it looked like it's tight there. But when he first started, it was wide. Now it's coming in close. But if he would have started out with that left close to the body and his right close to the body, this dude might have went to the hospital. Okay, because he was all wide. If you show the video again, maybe if, if you could reshow it, you see him. He's wide on it. He did a good job. He did a good job. 
but he would get more out of it. Look, but his right hand is a little higher in there. It is a little higher in there. But he kept it tight. It would have been like a bullet coming out of a, a gun. That's how that power come out. When you wide like this, it takes a little bit away. When everything is compact and you slip, see how he just went like this and put his arm. This arm was away from his body. This hair, it was away from his body. And the right hand was a little bit. But, but if it was all together like this or like this or like this, oh, man. He, he he got that shot in just a little tighter. He got it done. He got he got the job done, just a little bit tighter. And he snuck right. that liver shot right in there. So we'll go back to the anatomy, just so those watching know that this is exactly where Triple G hit him. He caught him there, and he basically shut shut you know shut him down. That guy lost shut his life, down. and he was in tremendous went, pain. Yes, he went straight down. And and how you how you do that? And we talked about this. You got to set that liver shot up. You got to set that. You got to set that solar plex shot up. That liver one. That one that's really going to take him out by using other tactics first. And then once they go for that, you sneak that liver shot right in there. Whether you're southpaw or right hand, you can get it in there. So that liver shot is a dangerous shot, and it, and it's hard to defend. It's hard to defend because you're busy moving. And you can get that shot right in there. So uh, Triple D, G, Triple Triple G, just executed uh, a good a good way of getting that liver shot to his, to your opponent. All right, great. All right, champ. Again, thank you for uh, the great information. Go ahead and close it out. Hey, I'm just loving what I'm doing, and thank you, Brian. You really, really working. We working hard to give the people. Uh, what they should be really getting. There's a lot of people. I respect them. They're out there giving their knowledge, but we have a good channel. We got good people on our channel. We got all the boxers uh, together. We're trying to get all, a lot of the boxers together, trying to help each other. Um, so everybody need to follow us. Follow us, mm -hmm. subscribe, like Brian said. And, um, you know, hopefully we can get boxing back on top again because it's not, I don't think it's real on top. You're doing good. We're missing something. So right. us guys retired, we're going to try to – the retired guys and the, the current guys, we're going to try right. to bring a good taste to it. All right. Great, champ. Great thing. All right, everybody. Thank you for uh, coming and watching. So look out for that liver shot. See you, champ.